Hello everybody and good morning and thank you for viewing the channel. Uh, today I wanted to quickly show you uh, the Enang AN8009. Uh, there's two models that people look at uh, usually when they're looking at the Enang is the 8008 and the 8009. The only difference is the 8008 has a square wave um, uh, gener signal generator which is nice if you're doing circuit testing, which I don't. <laughs> and the 8009 has this nifty thermometer uh, function, and it comes with a pretty nice thermometer lead, which I'm not going to test today. I just want to quickly show you what comes in the package, really. This is, uh, this is it, it, now, there's a lot of different Amazon sellers that sell the 8009 with lo in lots of different configurations, probably with different types of things in the bag. This is the one I got, and I'll put the link in the description and I and I like this one for a couple of reasons. One is the leads that it came the probes that it came with are actually quite nice. Now typically I'll throw away probes uh, right away uh, that come with my um, any cheap multimeter that I buy. These are actually pretty decent uh, and the reason I say that is you know the uh, they're they're thick enough Okay, and they're nice and substantial, and they have like a really good feel. And I've tested them; they test pretty well. Um, and uh, nice sharp edge it ends. Um, and then it comes, like I said, with this um, thermometer sensor, which is pretty nice, and with lots of other goodies in the bag. So um, got some banana leads, some alligator clips, and some of these other probes that are, that basically screw on. So it's all pretty nice. Um, now, whether or not I'll be using these, um, I'll probably use them for something when the time comes. I like having these. Now, for my normal probes, I use my Probe Masters, um, which I like way more than anything that would ever come in a set. But it's nice that a set comes with this. And actually, to be honest, in a pinch, I would I would definitely use these unless I'm I'm doing unless I'm doing like an extended amount of work. So if I'm just testing a couple batteries, I'll just use these. Um, on the probe itself, um, so. Screen's pretty nice, got a lot of nice contrast, uh, so I can easily see. And I'm and I'm I'm intentionally sitting where I'm sitting, so there's some daylight coming in, and I'm still able to see pretty easily. Um, this is the normal condition I would work in. Um, one of the things I like is that you can change the range pretty easily on this. Uh, so that's volts. And that's millivolts. So you can you see I'm just moving that decimal point over essentially is what I'm doing, which is kind of nice to be able to just do pretty quickly with a click. So when I'm doing DC t uh, DC voltage test testing on a, like things like batteries, which is typically what I normally do around the house, nothing complicated. Um, uh, my wife's MacBook was out, so I, I was testing it on that. I thought I would just give you guys a quick review. Um, so. That's that. And then the different functions are changed using this button, the select button. So if I wanted to do like continuity testing, I would just click quickly go over to that and then do, oh, sorry, to that and then do the continuity testing here just to kind of make sure. So um, overall, Really like the look and feel of it. Um, pretty decent quality for the price. You can't do a whole lot better. It takes a couple of AAA batteries underneath there. This bit is a little too cheesy. You know, it does it does stay. Um, but I mean, you know, not see it moves around pretty pretty easily. It would be nice if this had a rubber base. Uh, but that's something you could probably just do yourself. But again, for for a cheap thermo, uh, for a cheap uh, multimeter, um, 
it's pretty good. I'm not going to go into testing how accurate it is. There's tons of videos on YouTube uh, testing the accuracy of this thing. And it's been vetted pretty well. For a home uh, multimeter, uh, you, you really would be hard-pressed to do a lot better than this. And I, I, I like the 8009 more than the 8008 because if you're a home guy, like, you know, you just need something to use around the house, um, you're probably not going to need a square wave generator. Um, you will probably use that thermometer function. Uh, maybe you're trying to test the, um, the temperature of your exhaust or some, some place of your engine block or even, um, even home appliances like your oven or something like that. Um, so, or, or maybe just, you know, water temperature or whatever it is. This could probably come in quite handy. Whereas a square wave generator, unless you're building and testing circuitry, um, I can't think of very many things it would be useful for. Um, I keep seeing my image here uh, reflected in that. Um. Again, so good value for what you get. I like the, the probes uh, that it comes with and good quality. And I like the, the, the positive feedback you get from the dial. It doesn't try to get stuck in the middle like that too much. I mean, there's a pretty good positive stop at each one. Um, very light, pretty ergonomic. I mean, and, and I like that it easily fits in my hand. I don't like those big bulky ones that you got to carry around. Obviously, everything has its use, right? I mean, you're probably wondering why would I pay, you know, uh, almost a thousand dollars for a fluke multimeter where I can just get this ANING for like 25 bucks. Well, you're not really comparing apples to apples, right? This is not going to be used for some super highly sensitive circuitry and it's also not going to be used in an industrial setting where you're dealing with like you know um you know several thousand or several hundred amps even um so anything within your household so you know um tens of amps uh and uh, or just like you know anywhere from like millivolts to um, it's like 600 volts. I think you're probably good with something like this. But if you're working on like, you know, phone towers or something like that or doing some sort of industrial application or if you're working on like super sensitive circuitry, then this is probably not going to work for you. And if you are that guy, you probably already know what the best unit is for you. For, for quick, home, quick home use, use debugging your electronics, debu debugging your house circuitry, making sure your batteries are testing okay, uh, working on your car. Um, this thing is pretty awesome. So uh, that's my quick review of it. Again, I'm not gonna go through uh, testing all the different features. It does, it can test diodes and capacitors and, and, uh, and you know, different uh, voltages and, and, um, and current and whatnot, uh, like you would expect it to. And it's probably the only one you're gonna find in this price range with 9999 counts, okay? So, uh, that is um, kind of a big deal to me. Uh, I like being able to see that level of accuracy on the screen and, and being able to um, um, kind of show that level of accuracy it is nice, not always super useful. Now here we're looking at millivolts. That means even not doing anything, I've got something like at 12 millivolt difference between the two probes right now. Should be zero, but that's what we got. <laughs> um, by the way, millivolts are, you know, at, at, at thousands of a volt. Uh, your typical, typical battery has three and a half volts. Um, so uh, a thousandths of one volt is, is just about nothing. Um, so it's probably well within the accuracy of this device. And that's, again, another point for some of those... Um, and there very well may be a voltage difference between these two points right now. I mean, I don't know. So when you touch them, that should go to zero. I'm touching them right now. It's 0 0.007 millivolts. So that's seven one millionths of a volt. Uh, and maybe that comes down to just... Uh, um, you know, margin of error on this device. Anyway, uh, leave your comments. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, as usual, I ask if you are interested in this, maybe use the uh, 
link I have in the description. Uh, if not, that's cool too. Um, and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, I do recommend this, by the way, uh, as a, a multimeter for having around the house. Uh, for what it is, I'd be hard pressed to subtract any points from it just because it's a, it's a pretty good value. Coming with all these leads, it even comes with this little janky case. It's not much of a case. I can already tell this thing's gonna rip in a few weeks if I don't treat it perfectly well. Um, but I've got a nice case for my multimeter already, so I'm probably just gonna use that. Uh, it's just nice that it comes with one though. Uh, if you don't have a case, you know, this could be good. Um, and uh, it does not come with the batteries, so know that, triple A's. Um, okay guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully that helped you make your purchase decision. Cheers.